In today's video, I want to talk to you about what I call the enlightenment trap. And I was in this myself, um, but I do see a lot of people stuck in this energy. And so I want to explain to you what the enlightenment trap is and how it is kind of part of the process, but some people never break out of it. Um, and again, my channel, you know, I don't talk about things any other channel talks about. I, I try to relate to other people, um, what they talk about, but I can see they're in the enlightenment trap. And so I kind of feel like a lone wolf in this arena of spirituality or whatever you want to call it. So first, before I explain what the enlightenment trap is, I have to explain to you how we work as an entity. Um, yes, we have chakras and meridians and all that. And I was never into that, but when I went through this process, um, they were activated. I felt exactly where they're supposed to be, where the meridians are on our body. Um, I felt them, so I, I believe that we do have energy channels. But the main ones that we need to work on, they're called Don Tien's, um, in the Norse, it's Odin, Vili, and Ve. It's the, the power of three. I'm sure there's other traditions that speak about the, the three centers and how the number three is very sacred. So when these are aligned, um, these three power centers or cauldrons or whatever you want to call them, your chakras will automatically start opening. So there's really nothing you can do to force your chakras open. These three major centers have to be aligned before they will start to open from my experience. These three centers are in your belly region, big energy center. And this um, is your animal instinct. So human beings, we are animals. So this is where our instincts come from. It's where we know that we need to eat. We need to, we get the desire to reproduce, to, to keep um, our genes going on. This is when we know when to run, when there's danger and things like that. So this is all purely animalistic down there um, in this, this center. And so we do need it to keep us alive, but some people only live in that. And this is when, you know, the, you can see humans as predators and you can see others as prey and, and they just carry different type of like, I guess, human um, animal energy. And that's where we get our um, animal totems and everything. People carry certain animal energy. And that's why you do see predator and prey um, out there. You know, some, some people carry those, those energies of some sort. And we can tap into them also at any time. So we are supposed to um, evolve from being just in our animal instincts. Okay, and so as I've said in previous videos, you know, this is where meaningless sex comes from just to, you know, get our rocks off or just for the purpose of reproducing. There's no emotional um, component to it or um, honoring the other person. So that's when you're kind of stuck in your animal instincts. I'm not looking down at this, but it's one of three that, that you're supposed to incorporate and not just stay in that animal instinct. And so the second one I wanna to talk to is up here, and this is in our head area. You could say it's our brain. Um, this is where logic comes from. It's where you put things in order and compartmentalize, and um, our intelligence as an animal comes through you know, our brain. It's very sophisticated. And if you wanna say it is kind of our masculine, part of us. Um, you have to have your brain to function. And it's very important to keep your brain healthy. And that's why I, you know, don't um, encourage drinking alcohol, doing psychedelics and all that. Um, I don't believe there's anything spiritual about taking drugs or psychedelics or anything like that. Um, I think it's kind of like a false spirituality, but I've already done a video about that, so I'm not gonna talk about it. So our brain is 
very important. Okay, so the reason that, that we have been where we have been and so destructive as a species is because um, over the last few thousand years, we've only been using our animal instincts and our brain. So that's the masculine with the animal instinct. And so you can see how destructive that can get um, because it's missing a very important component and that's this energy center here. And this would be considered feminine. And this is your heart center. And this is empathy. And this is nurturing. And this is caring. And this is honoring. And so when you don't have that component, you tend to be a very destructive person. And, and the feminine is what has been missing those last couple thousand years. But it is coming back. Um, but when you go through this spiritual type of awakening, most people have this heart center awakening. And it's very strange because um, we don't typically live with our heart center before we have this type of um, awakening. We're just stuck in, you know, survival mode and going to work and getting things done and at all costs and things of that sort. You know, the animal instinct with the brain. So then we get that heart center opening and our life really starts shifting. And this is the point where you can get trapped. This is the point where you can get into the enlightenment trap. Because this heart center awakening takes over almost. And you have empathy for the animals that we live with and you have empathy for the, the earth that you live on and it's very difficult for you to function in the um, normal world because you can see that everyone's operating from their animalistic um, component and their brain component and they're missing that heart center awakening and so it can be difficult to relate to people but what happens is people start only living with their heart center. Um, and so that's where everything is just love and light and they don't care about survival. Um, you know, people just walk away from everything. You know, they could go off on a journey and find themselves or whatever. Um, but if you stay in only your heart center, um, it can become a, a, a dangerous trap. And I experienced it too. Um, although I never really resonated with everything when you're stuck in your heart center. I didn't want to be homeless. I didn't want to go off on a journey and wonder where my next meal is going to come from or um, ask for donations. I mean, I do have that on my website if people want to for watching my videos, but some people rely only on that. And, and I get it, I get it. But part of our experience here is to align all three and continue to participate in being a human and participate in contributing. And some people think because you've gone through this spiritual enlightenment, you know, you don't have to work anymore and and all that type of stuff and that will again keep you stuck part of the deal of incarnating is that you were going to have to have a career or some type of job um, you were going to play the game it's just part of it that's why i never resonated with people you know where they channel um, from the pleiades or some other star system because i don't want to take advice from a being that's not living here on earth and going through what we're going through right now and and experiencing what it is I'm going through. I don't know how they can relate. And if you've watched my previous videos, you know that the beings I always interact with are earthbound. They're either in another dimension on earth or they're inside earth or in inner earth. And those are the beings that that I am interacting with. And I'm not saying other people maybe aren't talking to people from other planets. 
but sometimes you can convince yourself that you are. And when you're channeling and speaking, most of the time when I'm watching this pe these people, it's just their inner wisdom. It's sometimes I'm like, duh, of course, you know, all that stuff. They're not saying anything that, that I don't know or haven't felt before or heard somebody else say. It's just really wisdom. They're saying the same thing over and over again, just in different ways. And, and a lot of times they're focused only on other planets or other star systems, or they're only focused on their light body and not understanding that your physical body is so important. It's such an important part of the process. You can't even build your light body unless you have a healthy physical body. They're tied together. And, and I don't hear other people really talking about the things I talk about where I detach from my body and I go into inner earth or other dimensions. Um, I don't channel, but I do speak that language, um, whether you want to call it Galder or light language. Again, it's like holographic and um, there's certain energy and vibrations with it. I will never sit there and say I'm, cha I'm channeling so-and-so from Lyra or whatever. That doesn't resonate with me at all. And I'm not going to take advice from a being from another planet. And even if they've incarnated here before, they're not going through this evolutionary cycle. I mean, we are the boots on the ground. Um, and so I have told you that I meet with people in a council. I believe they're in inner earth. I, I get updates of what needs to be done, but I've never, ever been told to focus on anything except what's happening here on earth. A lot of the times when you're only in your heart center, kind of look down on the animal aspect of us and you totally, your logic goes out the door. I mean, the things people talk about, there's no logic in it at all. They're completely in their heart center. And so I get it because I was there, but I didn't stay there very long because I knew all three of these work together. They have to be in balance. And when they get out of balance, um, it becomes what we've been doing the last couple thousand years, very destructive and violent and territorial. You know, that's animal instincts, predatory. But we've also had a lot of advancement, which is in the brain, all this technology and everything. But, you know, sometimes we'll find some technology and what do we do with it? Like the atom bomb or the hydrogen bomb, we, we use that technology in a destructive way because the heart center wasn't there. That feminine part was forgotten. And so that's why um, we can't just have the animals, the, the lower center with the, with the brain. Um, you have to incorporate the feminine. And that was part of what I was told. What I needed to do was to heal that feminine aspect of, of bringing it back to the planet and bringing it back to humanity. And when we have all three, can you imagine, um, you know, coming up with new technology, but, it, but, but with empathy and heart and don't use it for destructive purposes, but constructive. And I can already see it happening with electric vehicles and, and our food changing and the technology that, that's coming through is, is amazing. And that's another thing with people living in their heart base. They're kind of anti-technology, but, but those are magical tools. You, you can't look down on those. And heart center too, that, that when you're stuck in that, that you can get taken advantage of. So that's why you still need your brain and your animal instincts and your intuition when you know something doesn't feel right, but you're so empathetic and just give them a chance and everything, um, you'll get taken advantage of. I mean, it's happened to me, but, but I knew it was because I was so heart-based and I just wanted to just love everybody and save the world and, and all that. But you, you, you cannot throw out the logic and your instincts. Everything has to be aligned. So all three are important, but one cannot dominate the other. And when all three are aligned, 
that is you becoming an evolved human. That to me is enlightenment. So I hope that makes sense to you and you can recognize if you are in one energy center more than the other and just know to balance them out. To be enlightened and, and all that doesn't mean that you have to give up everything and go meditate um, on the mountain somewhere. You can fully participate in life um, and just be a good human and, and use and take advantage of these three centers. It's, it's just when we get stuck in one of them that um, things don't go well. Okay, so that is it for today and I will see you on the next video.